Hey people in YouTube land, Zach Hall here. Wanted to do a quick review for you. Um, this is probably one of the coolest and most surprising Bibles I've seen published this year. So I'm really excited to show this to you. This is just a Thomas Nelson large print thin line Bible, but it's pretty vintage in the way it looks. And it's really, really cool. So I want to share this with you real quick. So this comes in this nice little box. It's a clamshell box. Um, it does come with three ribbon markers. It's the black genuine leather edition. And I'll show you the back there. So it's got 11.5 uh, font type um, and then or, or point size. And it's got words of Christ in red, full color maps. And you see here classic red stained page edges. So this can be pretty cool to look at. And then you see here the retail price is $109.99. And we'll, so we'll look at it and show you that. I, I think, uh, you know, you can get that for the retail price. Christian Book has it for $79.99. So let's take a look at this Bible, though. I do want to say one thing though, the box here is actually very nice. Uh, open it real quick. You can see it's even lined with a thicker paper uh, that kind of protects the Bible and the box. So I thought that was pretty cool. It's a nice, nice box to carry it in or store your Bible in. But here's the Bible. So I've done a review on this, this text type right here with this large print. This was actually called their vintage series. Uh, this Bible right here, this is the brown leather soft uh, edition. Um, you can see it's got like a gothic type set on the front and the spine, and it's kind of got a decorative imprinting on the front. But to me, this one here, the genuine leather, is way more of a vintage look. So we still have the nice gothic font on the front, but you've got a beautiful pebble grain genuine leather with perimeter stitching. Looks absolutely beautiful. The spine's very nice, a lot more simplistic. You got a raised hubs here, which I think are very beautiful and well done. Got the gold accenting. I like the fact they don't have any flower designs or anything on the side of it, kind of like this one has. So I like the more plain spine that looks very nice. And then you can see here, it's got absolutely beautiful red page dye on the side. And this is, this is truly vintage. This is the Bibles like you would see from the 1950s and 1940s where they have that really intense red dye on the page edges. And not only is it on the page edges, but as you see when we open this up, the red does stay when you open it up as well. Now, the benefit of this edition over the Leather Soft is that um, it's a genuine leather, very soft, very pebble, pebbly grain. Um, so the genuine leather will just last longer in general. The, the Leather Soft is very nice, though, and it's a lot more affordable. Um, so you can probably get this one for about $30, whereas you can get this one, the cheapest price is $79.99. I think the retail price... For the leather soft was 49 and the retail price for this is 109 so there is a cost difference there but you can find them both for regional prices on christian book but the the uh, brown leather soft just has a kind of a construction paper liner um, it's got some decorations on it so it does look nice but it's definitely going to split over time whereas this genuine leather edition has a very nice thick vinyl sheet on the inside of it uh, vinyl is the best paste off method you can have in a bible uh, so it's going to last you for years. And you can see here actually where the reinforcement tape is running down the whole text block. So you can actually see where it's tagged into the block there. So if I open these first two pages, they're slightly glued together. You can see that there. You get a nice presentation page with this Bible. But other than that, the inside is going to be the exact same as the other one. So it's just their large print thin line Bible. So you can see I just got this today. Lays perfectly flat in the book of Genesis. Let you look at the text there real quick. It is line matched, so it's very easy to read. It's a very nice, bold, and dark font. Again, that's this 11 and a half point we're looking at in the Thomas Nelson Comfort Print font. You have page numbers at the top. You have the book header in the corner of the pages. And then you have these nice paragraph breakers uh, where they're actually saying things. So you have here like Lab uh, Laban's greeting, the Aaron explained. You have here preparing to leave. So it breaks down the paragraphs with these little paragraph headers to, to kind of tell you when a new thought is beginning. You do have a generous margin all the way around. The margin on the outside and the inside is definitely bigger than what's on the top or the bottom. And then this does come with three double-sided satin ribbons. Um, which is very unique, especially in the thin line. I've never seen three ribbons in a thin line Bible. So this thing is this thing's awesome. So I want to encourage you, just first impressions, I was absolutely blown away by the quality of this book. You can just see the, the red as it lays flat. 
And then this is a red letter edition. And the red letter goes very well with the red page die. So I'll let you get a look at that as well. So I would have thought it would be too much red, but I actually like the contrast here between the red letter and the red page die. Uh, every book in this one does begin on a new page. So there you have the end of Luke. And then they'll go to John. So every page, every uh, new book is like that. So you can see there's a lot of blank space here at the end of John going into Acts. But you can see this definitely has a vintage feel to it. I mean, it looks like a 1940s Bible, the way they used to produce them. Um, beautiful cut of leather. It's not overly thick, but it's, it's definitely sufficient enough. It's definitely soft and smooth. So very, very well done uh, there. So for the retail price of $109, you know, um, I think that's the top end of definitely what I would want to pay it for it. But yeah, I have found it on Christian Book for $79.99, and I think this Bible is a steal at that price. Now, my review copy did come with kind of a split back here in the maps, nothing too big. I suspect those will stay in for a long time. Um, it's just something I did notice on my copy, so your copy probably won't have that. So I did want to just point that out. To reassure you that that was just a slight default in this review copy, but nothing big. Should last for years to come, even with heavy use. You can see here evidence of the Smithstone binding that this Bible has. You see the stitching running all the way up the page. And that enables this Bible to lay completely flat. So you can see we're all the way back in the map section here. This is a brand new Bible. I haven't even really got to do a break-in on it yet. And yet it still lays flat from Genesis to Revelations. So I'll flip it here at the beginning again. There's a presentation page. The Bible still is laying completely flat. And so, I mean, I'm totally blown away the fact this thing has three ribbons in it. Now, the, unfortunately, two of the ribbons are stacked right on top of each other there. And then the New Testament ribbons kind of spaced apart. But you can see down here there are indeed three ribbon markers. Here's a better shot of the perimeter stitching for you. beautiful gold accent on the front. I really love uh, the fact they put Holy Bible on the front. I love the Gothic font. So this really is, ironically, this is not called their vintage edition, yet I think this is the more vintage of the two. And so I'll give you a comparison again between the two copies I have. Obviously the exact same size, exact same thickness. The actual vintage series here, the Leather Soft Edition, only comes with two ribbons. However, they are different colors. So you got brown and gold. So that looks very nice. Um, this also comes in like a black, uh, I think, I believe a blue and a red. So they do have some different color options on this one. On Christian Book, all I saw was a black leather, or black leather genuine leather for this one uh, with the red page edges. So kind of just want to show you this real quick, though, because this was this one caught me by surprise. This is definitely, I think, the coolest Bible of 2020. Uh, 2021 because I, I just I opened this I was totally blown away I thought I thought they accidentally sent me another large print copy of this one and when I opened it and saw the red page edges it like just blew my mind so no one else has have even done that this year so that that's really cool so if you do want to check this out again Christian book is going to be the cheapest place you can get that uh, Thomas Nelson does sell it for 109.99 and uh, this will probably come out here in either this month or next month so if you have a retail Christian publisher or store near you, I would keep an eye out for one of these copies um, in, in that store. So if you do have any questions about this, um, I did do a full review of this Bible and the text layout uh, under this Bible. So if you want to see a full review of the actual text, what's inside of it and uh, what else is in there, you can check that review out. This was mainly to show you the outside of this just because I think this is one of the more unique Bibles out there. You do want to pick up a copy, would encourage you. I think this Bible is very easy to carry. It's thin. Um, it's great to preach from. It's got a big font, easy devotional to, uh, read Bible. So if you want to use this for devotions in the morning, very, uh, I think it suits that purpose well. Also, if you're on the go, I think it's a great Bible to carry as well to bring to church. So it's got a lot of function to it. Um, so again, if you have any questions, comments, let me know in the comment section. Also, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe to this channel. I do produce a lot of content like this. And I try to publish at least once or twice, uh, you know, every couple weeks. So I do have videos that do come out constantly. 
Also, we're close to our 1,000 subscriber giveaway. We have about 30 subscribers left till we hit the 1,000 subscriber mark. So you could be the people that push us over the edge to get that giveaway going. I believe we're going to have at least four or five Bibles we're giving away uh, in conjunction with that giveaway. And also a big uh, surprise announcement for the channel and the future of uh, my life and really my family's life. So I hope you guys stay tuned to that. Until then, take care and God bless.